Isabella Flügel for Sagittarius. Welcome to you guys reading. Uh, I don't know where this is going. So it can be love, career, friends, family. We are going to take a look at it. But before we do, let me introduce myself. My name is Noraima from the Phoenix Star. If you are new to the channel, hi and welcome. I'm thankful you found me. If you like the vibration, don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you are already part of the fam, the growing tribe, hey, love. Thanks for that you're back again, fam. So yeah, um, normally I will do two topic, love and then an open topic. But now I'll be like, no, I want to do once a month a zodiac reading. And it's a message then for you, what you need to know. Where does it fit in your life? I don't know. That is something where you need to use your own discernment, your own intuition to see why you are getting this message at this moment. So I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it like so. Maybe I will change it up in the upcoming months. I don't know, because my busy schedule, it makes me that I can only do once a month this moment. But yeah, uh, I do hope you guys don't mind that I put love, career, friends, family, figure it out kind of a message uh, in that kind of way. So let's get started. Uh, let's see um, what you need to know. So your main card, you have the five of pentacles. Okay. Together with the debilitated discomfort. And then you also have new beginnings. Together with the fates and anxiety okay so what i'm getting for you guys my love is something that you already know is what i'm getting and that's the reason why you are getting anxiety for it you know that where you are at ain't it right you know it you know it that there is something that constantly makes you worry constantly makes you feel a type of a way of lack of not being enough is what i'm getting where if you go for the new new if you get out of your comfortable zone what will makes you feel very you you don't know that's the thing this anxiety with the discomfort it's making it worse because you know where you are at ain't it but you don't know where to what to do how to do for you to get to where you want to be and if it, it will work out yes or no you guys your spiritual team is saying yes it will but this is the troubling situation you are finding yourself right now in a place where you don't know which door to open which door to step in. And I'm saying door because for me, life is all about uh, rooms, okay? It sounds very strange. because We all enter a certain room in our life. A cer certain frequency is what, what you can say. It. And, and that frequency has different levels, okay? You can see it like the discomfort card, you know? You may choose which one you want to go, but if you get out, it really looks like this because there are lots of room, lots of things that you can take. And every choice you make uh, in this world will um, affect you kind of a way. And the thing is, you are in a period of change. You are in a period of a new chapter and it's troubling because it's asking of you to think totally different now but it's the thing that you need looking at the fates card is the thing that you need you cannot deny it or do you want to stay at this position if you if you want to stay at this position then deny it you know but if you want to go to something new something fruitful something abundant something better something more healed something um like the king of wands, you know, more passionate, then you know you need to get out there, right? So let's go for some tarot. Let's see um, what it is that you need to know more. As some of you know, this is a topic that might take a while. So you may grab yourself something to eat, drink. Let's hang, let's chill while I do the shuffling. So, my lovely, beautiful Sagittarius, let me first say you can be on top of this message, in front of this message, behind this message. Take what resonates and what not. Caca! <laughs> 
not to it. Leave it where it is. What do I mean to say with that? I mean to say that God's gonna dictate your life. Only you can with your thought, beliefs, and action. So let us really deepen your understanding of the present moment so it can pave a clear path to your future. Underneath the deck, you have the page of cups and we are moving from the past to the future. Like so, these cards belong to Together, the cause that you have is the wheel of fortune in reverse together with the eight of wands the ace of wands together with the eight of cups the knight of wands together with the strength card in reverse the ten of swords together with the uh, three of wands the high priestess together with the star honey look at the cards they here is all turning their back the eight of cups you are looking at his her back because she is walking to the future, to the next thing, to the thing that she doesn't know where it ends, where it goes, whatever that it is, but it's the thing that she needs, her wish, her dreams. Looking at the Ten of Swords, it's like, okay, this chapter is done. I've been betrayed. I've been done. People stab me in the back. Okay, I'm I'm. I'm done. I'm going to go to the new thing, new life, new me. Looking at the three of wands is waiting for that new thing, new life, new me. So it's like, go, go to your fate, go to your destiny. The eight of cups is for me always the fate card because you don't know where the, what it's bringing you, but it's, it's, you know it from within you know the fire of passion of the thing that you that you want to feel the thing that you want to create the thing that you want to achieve but you don't know the steps that you need to take that's the this, this discomfort so that's the eight of cups so for you guys my love my lovely beautiful Sagittarius is really that your chapter has ended <laughs> um, you are going into a new chapter a new thing you will hear message of it pretty fast pretty f quick that you will have a new beginning this is something that will not come without anxiety you will have anxiety why because it's changing your whole world okay it is something of oh my god are you kidding me is this really happening is this really the thing that's going to go down is this really my this is my new assignment in life yes and that can be with love, that can be with career, that can be with friends, with family, whatever that it is. There is something of you changing frequency. And for that, you need to now go into another room in another level. And right now, you guys, your spiritual team is saying like, you don't know where this is going. But it's the thing that is your wish, your dream. It's the thing that is written in the stars. It's your faith. So you have to go. So yes, if it feels weird, it's because things are changing. And if you want to go smoothly... I would go. If you continue holding on to the old ways, honey, they will bring tower. So do you want that tower? You, we don't want that tower. You don't. You don't. That's the toughest one. Okay. That's when the universe decides, you know what? Seems like you, you are yet still holding on to something that needs to go. So we will bring in the tower. So let's take a look. Let's see. Let's go for the topic. Now let's go deep. Oh, for some of you, I'm getting also, you will got, get lots of money. Okay. You will get lots of money. And because of this money or because of this work, this collaboration, this new thing, this new offer, that is the reason why you can change things up. That is one of the reasons. You know, the, 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 you are the first reason. The, the other one is just universe be like, okay, since you had an excuse that you don't have money, here you go, money, money. Now go, go do, go to do things that you said you couldn't do because you don't have money. Go, you know, it's like that. So, so please do not blame the state of lack the reason why you cannot do this or that because you guys your spiritual team is saying like honey everybody started with lack all the great people didn't have money to achieve what they have achieved in life they only had passion passion and desire to create Wow, I like that one. Now let's go for the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what is that you need to know more about that one. Underneath the deck, the Seven of Wands. Now I don't know what's going on with you guys, you fire signs. But all of you are in the middle of 
Hachus. Hachus, honey. And often I've been seeing the two of swords with both, with all the fire signs, okay? So you have for the Wheel of Fortune, the two of swords, together with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands being in reverse. Meaning like this, are you guys um, Leo? Is it Leo? Or, or was it Leo? Or Aries I don't know maybe you are Sun Moon rising Leo or Aries check that one out also um, but what I'm getting for you guys is you may choose to not have victory or go for your passion and have victory one way or the other whatever you choose you need to stand up against people it doesn't matter which one you really need to stand up but the one you might be more passionately about uh, than the other the other you you be let's just say like this the six, six of wands comes before the seven of wands and the six of wands is the victory you have victory in this moment maybe where you were at you had victory but the wheels had turned not in your favor and now you are not having victory people are coming against you and you have to defend yourself. So where you are at, the constant, like for example, you work at a firm. And you were constantly the first, the one that sales, uh, did, done lots of salesmen. You are the top one sales, sales person, okay? Now here's the thing. You've been doing it for years. And then suddenly another person comes in and kick you off your throne. And now people are not, yay, Sagittarius to you anymore. They'd be like, oh, finally, I'm, we were done with Sagittarius. Let's just now yay this person. Might be a Leo or an Aries, but it's another fire sign. Looking at all the fires here. So it's like, oh, okay, so my throne, my, my throne is gone. You know, so now you will see the people that were actually behind who you, behind you and was cheering you on. And it seems like right now there ain't a lot than that you thought they were, okay? So really make a choice. Do you want to remain there or do you want to better yourself and be greater and go for something or place that they will cheer you on once again? So let's see. For the Eight of Wands. Underneath the deck, the hanged man. So for the eight of wands, you have the page of pentacles in reverse together with the ace of pentacles. So the page of pentacles, honey, you, you need to have that fresh mentality to get out of your comfortable zone, okay? For some of you, you will hear a message from a person that might be younger than you. Younger than you. Fresh in life. Kind of a way. You will hear a message from them. Don't, don't under, underestimate this person is what I'm getting. Don't underestimate this person. Even if they are young and, and, and foolishly and enjoying life and they are not stable, that is what you think. This person has a kind of a, a, kind of a free life mentality. So it might look like they don't have their ish together, but they do. They are more daring and more action taking than that you are. And it might be the thing that you need right now. So this person might bring you an enlightenment or a way of living or a way of being like, it doesn't matter if I make mistake. That's just for now. And I will learn from a mistake. So let's go and do, let's live life. Let's, let's, let's discover kind of a way, you know? So really this person or this situation, whatever this person comes with, it is asking of you to get out of your comfortable zone, looking at the ace of pentacles and then go ahead and do whatever this is passionately <laughs> let's see for the ace of wands underneath the deck the fool so this one is going in reverse but i will take it like so so you are going to take the cup this is the four of cups together with the eight of swords in the reverse you are going to release yourself you are going to take this offer you are and once you do looking at the fool the new chapters begin as we were talking about then it will begin this new start this new creation this new adventure 
so i've this is where i'm getting like very hype my energy be like oh i'm so, so excited you know because it feels like it's something very excited but if you overthink it, you will get anxiety because it's like, am I doing the correct thing? Am I, am I doing this right? As I said, the universe will give you this one, whatever that it is. For some of you, it is money. For some of you, it's an opportunity. You might not look for it, but you have to, you, you need it. And the thing is like, um, stop making excuses. Uh, at this moment for everybody, like really, if you are not looking up to it, stop making excuses. And for some of you, in, when uh, tarot readers uh, um, talk about change, don't think like something big every time. Because I'm getting like really, or um, when I say the universe can give you something. Like for example, you'll be like, oh my God, yes, I need that money. You'll be thinking like it is $100,000 or something like that. Maybe it is just $10. <laughs> you'll be like, Noraima, where, where do I go? Where do I go with that $10? Tell me, you know, what do you want me to buy? A Starbucks? No. <laughs> Do not buy a Starbucks because you are not invested in with that Starbucks in you. You are investing in somebody else. For example, if you do tarot readings, you have that ten dollar buy yourself a tarot deck. If that is the excuse that you have, like oh no, but I don't have a tarot deck, a beautiful, then invest in a new tarot deck. I don't know, but you can have decks that you've been using for a long time. It doesn't matter. It, it's not about the deck. It's about you starting your, your thing that you need to do. But if you think that a new deck is the thing that you need, well, guess what? Here you go, ten dollar buy yourself a new deck. For some of you, it might be totally something different but that ten dollar might buy you a ticket through to go to the boss to apply for that job or to go on a date with that person that you have in mind so really you might think like oh it's a big change honey it comes often in little hinge little little things as i said with the page of pentacles in reverse like this person might look in your eyes as a naive teenager that be like oh go do, do this do that and you might be very irritated with them like but that person has a lesson for you so if you can just look not at the naive <laughs> person but more as as why can that person live that life like that what do i need to learn from that person you will live life more happily <laughs> okay so really in that kind of a way look for the little breadcrumbs okay they can throw your whole bread loaf if you want to you know hit you in the head with it but often it's the little crumbs that are the major big changes so watch out for those okay but it can also be a big loaf of bread <laughs> so let's see for the eight of cups underneath the deck the king of cups let me know how do your guides your spiritual team con communicate with you guys is it is it little crumbs like little hinge little stuff or is it often like big in your face kind of a way so for the eight of cups you have the king of pentacles together with the magician together with the ace of swords honey look at this beautifulness okay so this is manifestation this is manifestation this is you sitting on top of your throne this is you owning your uh, coins your foundation your fruitfulness you know this is you counting your blessings. So you guys, your spiritual team is saying, go with that idea. Communicate with people that are having the same idea of yours. Look at here. You have two aces in the same place. You have three aces already. What ace do I miss? The ace of cups. You have the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, the ace of wands. This is totally a new beginnings as this card is saying new beginnings. This is totally a new beginnings for you guys. Okay. Totally a new beginning. Want it or not. It is coming. It is here. So accept it. Okay. Use your mind wisely. Is what I'm getting. And know that you will manifest and create whatever that it is that you want. The universe is ready to work with you. They are giving you this new beginning. Okay. So. And. For example, like um, 
I have been thinking a lot about doing uh, private readings, okay? And but then I was like, oh no, not not, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I I even forgot about it. And then suddenly I was looking at somebody's um, um, TikTok, and they had uh, it wasn't a, re a tarot reader. Um, Jackie Aina, yes, and she had a kind of a thing where she can put all the all the things like you can then click on it and all the links of everything that they have. And I was like, oh, I can do that. And then suddenly a subscriber, of, it's let's just say a sis of mine, like, you know, we are in the same tribe, okay, the growing tribe. So a family member, my sister, like she was like, okay, maybe you should do private reading. I was like, damn girl, are you spilling my tea? <laughs> because it was like, ah, that was the thing that I was trying. It's like the universe was constantly putting people in my face that show me now change it now change it now do it first Jackie Aina because I was like no then I have to do this they'll be like okay no look look you can do it for free so just tap on this one and you will get the link to get to do this and I was like oh okay guess what I have to do that then <laughs> I was like okay but how do I do it with private reading should I do private reading then the subscriber will be like you you mm -hmm, you should do it I was like okay girl <laughs> so really in that kind of a way they can give you hinge um things you will see things that's like oh my god like i love my range rover evoke i'll be like oh that's my car yet still it's my car okay so every time if somewhat suddenly a range rover evoke pops up i know i'm doing good because the, the, the universe know that if they want to make me happy show me that car show me that car i know that i'm on a good path and they'll be like okay here you go here's the here's the here's that car here's that car you're doing good you're doing good and i'm like yes you know it's so really communicate with, with the universe and they do it really with little things. So stop looking at, oh, I need to see uh, a, a guy falling out of the, uh, the sky doing a flick flock. Then a parachute will open and it says, oh, Sagittarius, you're the boss. You know, no, it, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Maybe, maybe you can manifest it, you know, but but do you think every day somebody will jump out of the, 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 the sky with a parachute that says, oh, Sagittarius, you're the boss? No. So really look at the little signs, everything that you have to do, they are giving you a, a little signs already, but you just need to catch them. And often you will think that it is other people, um, often they will use other people with the same topic, the same thing as that you want. Let's go for the Knight of Wands. Underneath the deck, the Page of Swords. So for the Knight of Wands, you have the Five of Pentacles together with the Eight of Pentacles. Honey, go with the craft, the thing that you like and love. And listen, 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 Lina. This Five of Pentacles in reverse goes together with this Five of Pentacles. Now, I will not take these in, re in reverse, but looking at how here in the same line it came back in reverse, then that Five of Pentacles meant to be in reverse, okay? So, honey, this is a situation that you will not be in the lack. You will go and do the thing that you like and love, the thing that really is heightened you, you, the thing that you really, you, you, you feel good when doing it, okay? Not only that, it, it will bring you lots of knowledge and wisdom. So be ready, be ready because you are going to get that time for it. Let's see, for the strength card in reverse... Underneath the deck, the five of wands. You have to put yourself out there, though. You really have to put yourself out there. You really have to go with it. And then look at it. Look at it. The six of pentacles together with the empress. Fruitful. Abundance. Okay? Fruitful and abundance. Let me mention all the signs that I see for you guys. I see Aquarius. I see um, Leo. I see... Well, I see, I see. You can say the Empress is Taurus and Libra, ruled by Venus, okay? So, those are the signs that I see at this moment. So, my love, this is going to be fruitful. This is going to be abundance. This is going to be great, okay? So, put yourself in the game. Put yourself in the game with other people with the same 
thing that you like and love uh, if this is love if this is, is friendship whatever that it is that person sees the same thing as that you do the situation your work whatever that it is go and do it put yourself in the game even if it feels weird at first we all start somewhere and it doesn't feel comfortable but it's gonna be abundance it's going to be fruitful keep things in balance do not overgive yourself though let's see for the ten of swords okay that's too much but we're taking them underneath the deck queen of pentacles we already had the king of pentacles but that's underneath the deck so for the ten of swords you have the three of oh my oh no <laughs> you have the three of cups together with the ace of wands together with the justice card so leo uh, um, libra once again has entered the uh, building so it's going to be something to celebrate it's going to be something of passion it's going to be something that finally you get it okay it's something that has been long overdue uh, you have cleared your karma is what I'm getting. So the Ace of Wands, why I said like, oh my God. But then I said, oh no, it's because the Ace of Wands already is on the table. So yet still another Ace. Another Ace, honey. Another thing of passion. Another thing that you should do. Another thing that you should achieve. This is celebration. This is great. This is something that you will feel, you know, sometimes some things are scary, but once you've done it, it's really, you guys might be having sun, moon, or rising Aries, you know, but, but really I'm getting like, um, this is something of, um, you might think that, oh, scary and stuff, but once you've done it, it's like, oh my God, I wish I had done it sooner, but that wasn't the time. Now is this time. Looking at a justice card, now is the time. A Libra person might connect with you guys. Let's go for the three of wands. A Libra person might, uh, connect with you guys. Um, you might hear from them. You might collaborate with them is what I'm getting underneath the deck, the two of wands. This is something that you have already actually planted, wanted, looking at the three of wands and also the two of wands. So it's giving me that. It's something that you had already a vision for and now it's happening. So you have for the three of wands, the six of cups together with the chariot. Cancerians has... Um, enter the building look at this card isn't it cute you've been looking at the feminine and then if you look closer if it focus you will see the child um behind the gown cute um so yeah what i'm getting for you guys this might be to do with a libra person or a cancerian person the six of cups as i said is something that you already was planning is something of the past and now finally it's happening but it will not bring you to victory right away it is something with time you will get there but it is the, it is the the um victory wagon so this is going to be victorious with time with time you are going to learn a lot about this person this person is going to teach you a lot this situation is going to teach you a lot this energy is going to be new and it will teach you a lot and before you know it you will can then get to your the end of this chapter and you will start new once again for lots of you this is something of passion this is something that will uh, bring you really lots of knowledge and wisdom, lots of partners. You will have lots of partners, maybe in business or with love, dating, I don't know, you know, friendship. But there are lots of people, you will meet lots of people that want to collaborate with you in one way or the other. And you may choose which one. Um, There's something of care, nurturing, something of your foundation that will change also because of this situation. So. So let's see for the high priestess underneath the deck the seven of wands now look at this the eight of cups came for every uh, uh, fire sign i believe so you have once again because you already have it here now also here you have the eight of cups together with the page of cups so an offer will come in for you guys and this offer is your fate with this offer you will move away to a better greater thing your wish 
your wish and the thing is not everybody will see it um, the way you, you know not everybody will be happy for you that you you are doing what you are doing because you are going to be selfish okay not selfish in 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 me 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 but more as in okay it's now time for me to do this for me kind of a way you know so it can rub some people wrong is what i'm getting so let's see for the star you are ending with the four of pentacles so for the star card honey you have the judgment card so it's d-day together with the knight of swords it is all happening so fast it is all happening so fast this offer comes in and it's like bibbidi babbidi boom okay it, here the thing is it the moment you guys because you have lots of offers on this table it's not only this one here you also are doing you there are lots of aces as i already said you know ace of wands ace of swords ace of pentacles so i do think for lots of you it's about something you want to manifest and create here on this earth something of communication something of mental something of spiritual something of your passion something of action something of the thing that you want to create okay in that kind of way so as the magician you almost have all four of them except for the cup okay the cup is let me see the cup is you need to wait for the cup the cup is is something of emotions and feeling right now it's all about mind um, manifestation of earthly and passionately okay so not to say that love is not on this table it is because love can also be also passionately you know but whatever that it is this situation right here you will have lots of offers lots of people that want to help you out you need to look out which who is who but it's like here get out of your comfortable zone keep in mind it starts with little breadcrumbs to then go do the thing that you like and love to then continue with it and 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 have collaboration to then once again has an offer so i do think this might be for some of you to do with your creative art or something like that there are lots of people that want to collaborate and work with you okay looking at the uh, page of cups here and also here you will have lots of offers so i don't know where this fits in your life communicate with me and communicate with other sages let each other know how does this fit where are you guys at when it comes to life and i will see you guys in another reading of mine bye bye <laughs>